Hi, boys and girls. I'm the reading teacher. It's spring, and I've been looking at all the birds in the backyard. Yesterday, I saw a robin, a cardinal, a tanager, and a goldfinch. Today's story is about a bird. It's about a love bird. And this love bird realizes that being who you are is the best thing to be. This is called Love Bird Lou, and it's written by Tammy Sauer and illustrated by Stephanie Labaris. Love Bird Lou. I love the end papers. It really goes with the title, doesn't it? Love Bird Lou. I love you. Lou came from a long line of lovebirds. I love you more. No, I love you more. Lovebirds were all Lou knew. Until his flock visited the other side of the island. The pelicans were great at figure eights. The flamingos were wonders on the water. The nightingales had the gift of song. Wow, said Lou, all those birds are amazing. Then something occurred to Lou. Hmm. If something occurs to you, it means it pops into your head and you think about it. So what do you think just occurred to Lou? Lovebirds are so ordinary, said Lou. I want to be a pelican. His mother pinched his cheek. Okay, cupcake. That morning, Lou flapped as hard as he could. He swooped and looped across the sky. You're the best pelican ever, said his mother. We love you, Lou, said the others. All was well until thwomp. The lovebird swooped him right up. I think I'd rather be a flamingo, said Lou. His father tweaked his beak. Sure thing, sugar cookie. They're being very supportive of him, aren't they? Letting him try different things. That afternoon, Lou stretched as tall as he could. He waded into the water, then balanced on one leg. I've never seen such a brilliant flamingo in my life, said his father. We love you, Lou, said the others. All was well until, and there's where the author puts that dot, dot, dot. You know when you see a dot, 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 it means, uh-oh, something's changing. All was well until, splash. The lovebirds patted Lou dry. Perhaps I'd make a better nightingale, said Lou. Okie dokie, artichokey, cooed his parents. Why do you think they're being so supportive? Do you think they're realizing that maybe Lou will figure out on his own that it's okay to be himself, who he is? That's where he shines, being a lovebird. Before long, Lou tottered across a branch. He cleared his throat. <clears throat> he gave it everything he had. Screech, screech, squawk. The lovebirds thought it was beautiful. Bravo! The nightingales, not so much. Lou stared at all the other birds and sighed. <sighs> He was not meant to be a pelican, or a flamingo, or a nightingale. Being a bird is for the birds, said Lou. Maybe I'll just be a rock. Have you ever heard that expression, for the birds? It means that you think something is meaningless or useless. So lovebird Lou is saying that trying to be another kind of bird, it's useless. It's not working for him. So he wants to be what instead? A rock. The lovebirds helped Lou find the perfect spot. Number one, rock. There's his biggest cheerleaders, mom and dad. Lou sat and sat and sat. He was an excellent rock. <laughs> that night, Wow, said Lou, it's so dark out here. A little while later, whoa, said Lou, it's so wet out here. 
Roughly one minute after that, Wah! cried Lou, it's so scary out here. Lou did not need a pelican or a flamingo or a nightingale. This situation called for one thing. What do you think it's gonna be? We love you, Lou, said the lovebirds. I love you too, said Lou. Aww. The next day, the pelicans flew in fancy formations. The flamingos flocked in charming pairs. The nightingales sang a brand new song, la la la. And Lou, he knew being a lovebird was, well, lovely. Lovebirds were good at the most important thing of all. And the author doesn't tell us what that is, but do you know what that is? Yeah, feeling loved, feeling supported. But most importantly, Lou realized he loved himself the most when he was being a lovebird, right? Who he was meant to be, a lovebird. I'm gonna go in the backyard and see if I can find some more birds today. I hope you have a good afternoon, friends. Don't forget to check out Lovebird Lou at the library.